Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 10. The heading for our lesson today says the impact of sanctions on South Africa. The British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher was opposed to the idea of imposing sanctions on South Africa. She argued that such a move would hurt South Africans rather than helping them. Many people in Britain opposed Thatcher's dance, that is, her stand. After a meeting in Britain, Britain decided to impose minor sanctions on South Africa. What were those uh, sanctions? The export of arms to South Africa was banned. The import of iron, steel and currents, which is the gold coins, was also banned. Okay, the two words, export versus import. Somebody may not be clear what is meant by these two words. When we talk export, we are sending goods out, all right? But when we talk import, goods are coming into our country from elsewhere. The imposition of sanctions by Britain and other Western countries had a negative impact on the SA economy. For example, it led to increased unemployment and the devaluation of the rent. Devaluation refers to the lowering of the rent value. We are actually saying the rent value actually got less than it was. The inflation rate rose to 18.4%, the highest in 66 years. I know you are historians, uh, you may not be clear on the issues of inflation, but this comes from the fact that, as we said, no more imports into South Africa. It means now South Africa had it hard to get certain goods such that prices had to rise. For example, even after the lockdown, the price for cement, guys, rose to 130. Archbishop Desmond Tutu uh, supported the call for sanctions. And he also argued that it was time for South Africans to make sacrifices for freedom. Tutu argued that uh, the sanctions would affect whites more than blacks. He stated that when the ladder falls, a ladder, what is called Ileli guys in Kosa, when the ladder falls, those at the top get hurt more than those at the bottom. Can you notice that there was a long debate, okay, for the sanctions, for the economic sanctions to be imposed on South Africa? Can you see the struggle? Inasmuch as the other boycotts were never stopped as such, but the economic boycott, it seems somebody was aware of its impact on South Africa and people were at the whites were actually refusing. For example, you see that Archbishop Desmond Tutu here is arguing strongly, you know, battling for these sanctions to be imposed. Even many historians saw the economic sanctions as one of the strong tools that would lead to the downfall of apartheid, the dismantling of apartheid. The decline of the economy as a result of the economic uh, sanctions put pressure on South Africa to consider changing its policy of apartheid.